This is just a quick intro to show how to uh, import a workflow and connect up the data. Hopefully this will make perfect sense. So I've launched NIME and this is the default window you see with NIME. You see the welcome, which we don't really need. So I'm going to exit out of that. And next thing I want to import the workflow. We could do, start with the new workflow and you could build it up from scratch. But I think it's easier if you use the workflow that I've already provided for you. So we're going to import a NIME workflow. And the NIME workflow could either be a folder, uncompressed, or it could be an archive file, which is a .gz file, GNU zip. So we're going to find that one. So we're going to select the archive file. And for me, it happens to be in this folder. And I'm going to just grab week one baseline workflow. And for you, it'll be wherever you downloaded <clears throat> the workflow.zip uh, that was in the course uh, week one information. I'm going to open that. You see automatically the import element. You see work, week one baseline workflow here. And that's what we want to import. If you've already imported it, then uh, it'll give you a warning uh, because you can't have two workflows with the exact same name. Uh, so, but in our case, there's nothing there. So I'm just going to finish that and I'll import the workflow. Now, if I double click on it, you'll see the workflow as it shows up here. Now, one thing to notice, if I say, I'm going to, uh, this is already saved. If I did this again, just to give you an idea of what happened with the different ways you could uh, work with these workflows, I could import a workflow and I could import a root directory, which would be a folder. So this is a workflow and a folder. You can see inside the folder, all the nodes in the workflow are inside this top level folder. If I open that, uh, as a select root directory, you see the same workflow name here, the same element, but in this case, it's named something different. I'm just gonna, uh, in order to do this, I'm just going to uh, rename it something different. I'll name it two, and I'll import it that way. And now these are both loaded up, and they're both identical. Let me get rid of this. I just exit it out. And now we're back in our week one workflow, and I want to import the data. So this data CSV reader contains the path to the file. It turns out that this is a common delimited file, just like I show here, and I need to find the file. So I'm gonna to go to the path where that file exists. It's wherever you happen to save it. Um, I'll go to this course for me, and it's gonna be not there. It's gonna be in the data folder for me. And in this case, it's a .txt file. So there it is, cup 98 learn, variable subset small. I choose that. Notice that I have checked has column header. This has column headers, but it does not have unique row labels, what they call row headers. So comma delimited, rows are delimited by new lines, and double quoted to fully qualify text strings. Comments are pounds, which we don't have any of them in the data. So now this turns from red to yellow. I'm going to execute this and loads it in just fine. And now we can look at the file table to see the data inside this file. Now, if I picked one of these other files, I could have picked any of the others. Remember, there are CSV files there too, like the cup 98 val, which is the validation data, not the training data. I'm going to load this up just to show you that you can load up any file with the same node. It just points to a different file, and as long as it's a common delimited file, I'll load, be able to load it up just fine. And here's the validation data. I think that's all I need to do for the short video. Hopefully that'll help you understand how to uh, import a workflow and how to load up a data file.